After a short time in the beta channel, the new Steam Deck client has just got pushed out to the stable channel. There are some nice quality of life updates along with the extended boot video. The headline feature of course is the boot animations getting extended from 7 seconds up to 30 seconds. As we have seen there are some really cool ones and I'm hoping that this new industry continues to push on. We will have a video upcoming on the channel to show you how you can do this easily fine. Decky Loader. There are some nice quality of life changes in that you'll be able to respond to chat messages, game invites and voice chats easier. The quick access menu will now open the notifications tab and you will be able to send in without having to go into the chat menu. As the official Steam Deck dock is out now, there has been an update to the developer setting modes. If you are getting weird behaviour when you're hooking your deck up to a TV or monitor, you can now enable developer mode and then select and use external display safe mode. This will force a lower resolution onto that display and should hopefully fix any issues you may have. And um, We've just shown you how to do that there in the background. There were a couple of other sort of wee bug fixes and we'll go through them here now. First one, fixed an issue where Steam group chats with long names or descriptions could cause break the layout off the chat screen. Yeah, that's what I said there. That wasn't me stumbling over my words. Fixed an issue on the lock screen where you'll have to dismiss the on-screen cable manually if you slept the device when it was up. Yeah, that's what it says there as well. Fixed invoking the on-screen keyboard while already in full screen keyboard input scenario causing bad behaviour. So that basically means the, the, try to fix the keyboard a wee bit. Fix the case where the performance overlay would still show when set blew off. That would be annoying if that's on if you don't want to see it. So that's good that that has been fixed. And then there were three things fixed in the Steam input end of things. Restore the previous behaviour of using stick detection rather than the I can't say capacitive sensor for the radial member menus that don't have center buttons bound yet. More fun there. And fixed an in-green crash and fixed an issue with editing command settings from inside the virtual menu screen. Again, this is absolutely brilliant that they're, they're pushing out these updates on the deck so, so regularly. And yeah, I, I've I'm looking forward to actually messing about with the bit animation because that's going to be fun get, and getting some random one of them going. So thanks for watching. If you like more of this sort of stuff, like, subscribe and all that jazz. And we will see you all again soon.